Now, after nearly a week-long vote count, Kenya's Electoral Commission chief has now declared Deputy President William Ruto as the winner of the presidential polls. This followed last-minute chaos as four senior election officials distanced themselves from final results. The four of the seven electoral commissioners told journalists on Monday that they could not support the opaque nature of the final phase of the vote verification process and thus cannot take ownership of the results. Some things need to be put out there. As you can see, the four of us, we are here, not at Bomas of Kenya, where the result is going to be announced because of the opaque nature of how this face has been handled. We therefore cannot take ownership on the results. Now, according to the official results, Ruto has narrowly beat his rival and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga with 50.5% of the votes. The 77-year-old former Prime Minister, who got 48.8% of the votes, was running for post for the fifth time. Ruto, in his acceptance speech, thanked the Kenyan voters for their support and told the opposition that there is no room for vengeance in his government. I want to promise all the people of Kenya, whichever way they voted, that this will be their government. I know many are wondering, especially those who have done many things against us, I want to tell them that they have nothing to fear. There is no room. There is nothing. There is no room for vengeance. There is no room for looking back. We are looking into the future. I am acutely aware that our country is at a stage where we need all hands on deck. As news of Ruto's win spread in Raila Odinga's stronghold of Kisumu, large numbers of protesters came to the streets of the lakeside city to denounce the results. Protesters hurled stones and burned tires as they blocked roads. Police also fired tear gas to disperse the protesters blocking the roads. Odinga supporters also entered the restricted area near the election commission on Monday, accusing electoral officers of tampering with the votes. On the flip side, scenes of celebrations were also across Kenya, where Ruto supporters came to the streets in large numbers to celebrate his win. Ruto's win is currently being seen as a triumph for a man who shook up politics by appealing to struggling Kenyans on economic terms and not on ethnic ones. Along with celebrations, tensions are also running high for Ruto supporters. Oh, this is because Odinga's camp can now challenge the results in the Supreme Court, as it did successfully in 2017. The court declared the 2017 vote invalid over claims of voter fraud. A fresh election was later held that that was won by outgoing President Uhuru Kenyatta. Turnout in this year's election has or was lower than expected. According to reports, the election saw only 65% voter turnout in 9th of August vote. This reflects the wariness of Kenyans seeing the same long-time political figures on the ballot. Frustration over poor economic conditions and soaring cost of living crisis were also seen as the reasons for low voter enthusiasm this time around.
And for more on this, our correspondent Coletta Wajo, he joined us from Addis Ababa, and this is what she had to say. We saw some uh, level of disappointment, some level of protest, people been burning tires in some areas. Uh, but by the end of the night, that had been cleared because security um, has been deployed uh, in, in many parts of the country. So it, it was an, a, a show of protest, a show, a show of disappointment, which is understandable because um, the violence beat, maybe not, but uh, the disappointment uh, may be because uh, if you look at the vote, uh, Mr. Odinga garnered close to half of, uh, what, of the number of people who voted. So an explanation of that but today as we're speaking in most parts of the country uh, work is trying to resume despite um, a thick feeling of disappointment in his strongholds at the moment um, i mean that's that's uh, looking at it uh, at, the, at its infancy right now we, we are looking at a situation whereby his team is like highly likely go to, uh, to go to court um, uh, his own lawyer has hinted on that and we are expecting probably in the course of the day they might pronounce themselves on this so that that might be a likelihood and uh, probably for kenya where we have where kenya has reached right now the judiciary might be the best way to solve this issue we On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.